Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the pharyngeal mucosa. So what we're going to be doing is describing this image that you see now on the screen. This is basically a posterior view of the pharynx, as you can see. Now what we did was just cut open this tube, which is known as the pharynx, and expose the different structures of the mucosa. Notice here this lining, which separates the mucous membrane of the pharynx as well as uh, the muscles here. Notice a difference in texture. These are the different muscles of the pharynx. A bit more of location here to understand what's going on here on this image. We're looking at the posterior view, as I mentioned, also of the skull, where you see here these two landmarks, which are the mastoid processes. Notice here also the sternocleidomastoid muscles, a bit of the masseter muscles, which are then attached to the lower jaw. Now the pharynx is a muscular column that is located posterior to the oral cavity and also the nasal cavity and larynx that runs between then the oral cavity and the esophagus below. And as I mentioned, the pharynx is lined by mucosa and the muscle fibers that make up the wall circularly on the outside and longitudinally on the inside. Now the pharynx is also an important structure for production of voice and it's also a passageway for both food and air. Now as a reminder we're going to be talking about the different pharyngeal mucosa or the structures of the pharyngeal mucosa and related structures. Structures that we find related or associated to the pharyngeal mucosa. Now let's start off with the very first point, which is how we divide the pharynx. Now it can be divided into three structures, the nasopharynx, which you see here highlighted in green. Now a bit more inferiorly, you're going to find the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx, which you see here a bit even more inferiorly now highlighted in green. Now we're going to talk about these in a little bit more detail, starting off with the nasopharynx that you see here highlighted in green, which is located on the posterior part of the nasal cavity behind the conchi, as you can see here. It is the uppermost portion of the pharynx, and structures found in this portion of the pharynx include the nasopharyngeal tonsils, or also known as the adenoids, the pharyngeal bursa, and the pharyngeal opening of the auditory tube. The nasal pharynx communicates with the nasal cavity via uh, these structures here, which are known as the nasal conche, and also the oral cavity via the pharyngeal isthmus. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.